Good morning. My name is John Whitmayer. I'm the Director of Music Ministry at Salem Lutheran Church and School, and it's my privilege to bring you a devotion this morning. Today's devotion is another in the series of Monday Blessings, written by my father, Pastor Gary Whitmayer, during his time in active ministry. Today's devotion is based on Psalm chapter 77, verse 11, which reads, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. Mercy, peace, and love be yours in abundance. Pastor Gary writes, I wonder if any of you remember the days before bicycles came equipped with chain guards. The chain and the large sprocket by the pedals had no covering. We used to tie twine around our pants legs to keep it from getting caught in the chain. The rich kids bought a ready-made flat spring clip just for that purpose, but most of the time, rich or poor, we just rolled up our pants leg. The hill at the north end of the main street was very steep. At its top was the end of the five blocks of the paved street that our town so proudly possessed. We would walk our bicycles to the top and coast to the bottom. That is, only when no one was watching, for it was strictly forbidden by parents and city fathers. North Hill had many broken bones and wrecked bicycles to its record. Even coasting down required a considerable amount of braking to keep things under control for an eight-year-old. Without hesitation, I jumped onto the seat and gave a furious pump to get going. As I did so, I felt my pants leg slip down. On the second pump over the brow of the hill, I felt the chain grab my pants and then simultaneously the chain jumped off the sprocket. No brakes. At that moment in time, I became a ballistic missile. It was a lot like a ski jump. Once you start, you are rather committed. The safest thing to do now was to try and ride it out. The wheel shimmied, but I kept steering. It turned out to be an incredible ride. Two blocks later, where the street went uphill to the Farmer's Union Station, I was able to put my feet down and stop. I wonder if my angel enjoyed that ride as much as I did. All of you need to do some remembering of your own. Today, many of you will start a week like the one that faces me. I feel like I have gone over the brink and there is no stopping now. Yet, to remember all the hills of life I have come down is also to start this one with great confidence and hope. Do you really believe that after so many years of miracles he would stop now? Do you not remember what he has done for you? What has already been done for you will continue. He is faithful to his commitment to you. Jesus has come to give you life, and that abundantly. He gets a thrill out of living. He wants you to be thrilled with the joys of living. Even when you are going downhill, out of control, he is with you. He will give his angels charge over you, is no idle promise. Christians, like your Lord, you are not escape artists, but conquerors. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, including death. Jesus didn't escape death, but conquered it. Even when this wild ride of life goes on a mad downhill rush to the cemetery, remember, people of God, it doesn't stop there. It goes through the cemetery to eternal life. Because of Jesus, life can be exhilarating and purposeful, even when seemingly out of control. If you want it a little less stressful, remember to roll up your pants leg. Will you pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your Son Jesus to give us life. Help us to look forward to the thrills of life, knowing that you are there to protect us, even when our world is stressful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for listening today. May God bless your day and your week. Goodbye.